Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. It's uh, Sunday today, beautiful Sunday, well, beautiful for autumn <laughs> and ducks. <laughs> yeah, it's a miserable old cloudy, drizzly day today. Temperatures, well, probably won't get to 10 today. That's pretty normal for this time of year. Okay, what are we going with? Well, we're going with uh, the old faithful Tower of Old Bond Street. This one is St. James Collection, which is a, for my nose, I get a, um, a citrus mandarin um, orangey type scent. With some complex undertones. Uh, there's probably some florals, maybe some wood. It's hard to smell and differentiate, I mean. So there's the paw. As you can see, it's shrunk a little bit. I've had it a few years now. So we'll use that today. Um, I'll, what I'll do, I'll put the um, scent profile and uh, ingredient list here so we won't have to do that later on and the brush we're using with that is a fairly new brush in my collection I'll just um, squeeze it out, I've had it soaking it's a ball knot in a, an Amiga uh, Forks Jade handle beautiful handle it's the 11842 with a 27mm bore knot. It's supposed to be premium quality uh, with a 52mm loft. Now it's not fully broken in. I've been breaking it in over the last couple of weeks, so we'll see how it goes today. So I'll stick that back in the water to soak. I like to soak them for 10-15 minutes at least in warm water. And the razor, we're going with our weekly razor, or this week's razor, which is the um, Carve Overlander from Canada. And uh, you can see, or may be able to see, I've already got the blade in there, which is a second use on my, uh, I can't find it, but it's a, it's the cool, oh, here it is. Lord Cool Blade. They're called Super Stainless. But generally, all blades are, are coated in any case, whether they say so or not. They normally have some sort of plastic coating on them. Um, and what else are we using? Oh, yeah? the, the bowl. We're going with the Yaki Brush Duke, which is the ceramic version. And this is the green blue uh, bowl to match the the J handle. And I think that's it, yes. Okay, let's put some pre-shave on. Let's go with the Suvetico shave cream. Just wet the face first. I got two days growth. Let's get some of this cream on. I can be generous. It's going down slowly. It's a peppermint scent. A bit of menthol in it. Just rub it in. Some moisture out. Okay, that cleans up the skin a bit and uh, prepares the whiskers. Oh, I can't get the lid back on it. There we go. Let's get in another 
gear ready. Okay, we'll go over there now and produce the leather. Right, we're ready. I've already got my syringe full of water, 20 mils in there. I've got about two and a half to three grams of uh, cream in there. So we'll just get our brush. Give it a squeeze and a shake. And we'll start making a slurry. Being a cream, it won't take much to get that all gathered up. And bore not. We'll dig into that soap quite easily. This is not a tightly packed bore knot. Pretty much a standard one. Just keep it in the camera. That's looking good. You can see, lovely. Can't go wrong with tops, very reliable. So we'll start with three mil. And we'll get this party started. Just reweighting the face. Making sure we fully moisturize. As usual, the alum on my fingers. And we have some lovely, nice and creamy leather. Now this ball knot, a little bit scratchy, but not broken in yet. And it's quite um, flexible. So, 
as you can see it splays pretty easily it's not a high density knot lovely handle on this good grip just about the right size that looks good the scent yeah it's uh, I don't know how to describe it yeah I do get that sort of orange citrus scent um, I get the florals now I don't get a lot of wood. Uh, it's probably there, but I, I can't split it out on the on the on the scent. It's a very nice scent, though. I like it. Not strong. No more than a four out of five. So on the mild side. I just saw uh, a video the other day by Blackland discussing blade angle. Actually, I learned something new on that. The actual, the real definition of the blade angle. Which makes sense. It's actually the angle of the blade to your skin, which is it's not something that you can measure accurately, at least not on your face. But one thing he did say is if it feels right, that's fine. That's the way it'll work. <laughs> so I go by if it feels like, if it feels right. Okay, we'll put another layer on. It's well hydrated. This leather, plenty of water in it. I put uh, 15 mil, which is quite a lot for a cream. And look at that, beautiful. Make the nice soft peaks, which is how I like it. Wonderful splaying knot. It's not that stretchy. Look at that. It's just uh, the old fashioned Tobbs shaving cream. Tobbs have been around for years. Uh, 150 years or something? Yeah, 1854. If you have a look on the lab label there, it's just up. There, underneath the logo, 1854 is when Tobbs opened up their first shop, I think. So going across the green. I could easily use this. Overlander, Goatlander, razor in every shade. Such an easy razor for me to use. One, the aluminium is light. I think no more than 40 grams. Good for my hands and arm 
may sometimes get fatigued for unknown reasons. Age, of course. On my hands. We'll get crampy. Be a bit of arthritis playing up. So I can't, uh, well, have a lot of difficulty using a heavy raisin. Anything over 80 grams is hard for me to use. Oh, that's very creamy and leather. Well, I think this must be a newer formula. I don't remember it being so rich and creamy. They have changed their uh, formula over the years. Tobs, uh, this is probably one of the new ones. They used to have parabens in it, but um, they don't anymore. It's a solid leather, as you can see, look at that. It's not dissipating in any way. Right, what are we doing? We're doing um, against the grain. As you're going across my neck, like I just did there, is mostly against the grain. Yeah, not a strong centre. I'll probably have to revise that to about a 3 out of 10. Um, so it would be nicer if it was stronger. And the glasses. Get close to the ear. Can't Nice blade, um, it's mild though. But you really um, have to test, see how it goes with your particular skin and beard combination. I get on well with most of the Lord Blades.
Wonderful. Now, going thing with um, tobs, it's residual dries quickly. So you need a wet hand. So I'm just my finger in the water. That'll be fine. And there's residual air. Not a lot, but uh, it's definitely enough. Alright, let's do some touch ups. Just a little bit on the nostrils here. Let's get that. Wonderful shave. Very light on the neck, even though it's a mild razor, you do want to pressure it. Feeling good. Beautiful. That's my shave. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I don't see any weepers. I don't, uh, I don't think I'll use the alum today. Uh, that's, I don't feel any irritations. And there's no weepers, so there's no need for the alum today. So we'll just put on the leftover leather and go and have my shower. Go back for the post shave. Okay, we're back from that lovely shower, and the shave was beautiful, beautiful. Very smooth, very clean, no weepers, no irritations, wonderful shave. So we start off with our normal witch hazel with menthol crystals and tea tree oil. Wonderful. Yeah, 
no feeling of irritations at all. Um, then we'll go with the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. Just going down slowly. Maybe another month or two. up in the local supermarkets that and root and uh, what's the other one um, old spice uh, or 7 eleven might be able to find in the supermarket oh that's one all right that's my show for today Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on my next show. Cheers!